talk about a brain. That is going to be the. That's what I'm talking about this whole time. Is is the brain, how it works, and just the functionality of it. So, we've got a horse brain up here on the top and a human brain down here on the bottom. And the biggest difference that I want to point out between these two brains is this uh, this frontal lobe or this prefrontal cortex that us humans have. Do you know what job it has for us? And yet, what's that? <laughs> well, exactly. This is this is where we this is where we mess life up. Is right here in, in this chunk. Yeah. Yeah. So our emotions are. This is where we label things. This is where our judgment comes in. This is where we, you know, our, yeah, the emotions, getting upset, or all of that. Um, that prefrontal cortex is where we can be we were regretful of the past. Anybody have regrets of their past? No, I know, me neither. Me neither. But that's if we did, that's where that would hang out, would be in that prefrontal cortex. Or is anybody maybe fearful or worried about the future? Tomorrow or whatever. So that's that prefrontal cortex is where we span that lineal time. Worry about the future, regret the past, create all of our labels, our judgments, our descriptions. All of those things happen in that prefrontal cortex. Our ego is kind of where we have that internal where we sit and argue with ourselves. Oh, I'm, I'm not good enough. That's right, you're not. You should suck at this. You should not do that. All that conversation. That's the prefrontal cortex. Everything that talks you out of doing anything is the prefrontal cortex, in a sense. And the horse brain has this, it's kind of magnified, but it has a very little, just a teeny little sliver of this prefrontal cortex. Almost non-existent, but Dr. Peters says that there's a little piece of it there, and I don't argue with the neuroscientist. I'm talking about brains. So they have a very teeny bit. So what does that mean? Just right off the bat, what does that mean? You guys have heard, uh, or you, you know, you hear phrases or things about the horses, you know, in the now moment, or the horse is only just present, it's just now. That's how this is, is that it doesn't have this prefrontal cortex to hang out in the past or to get forward in the future. Your horse is just right now. Like when you tie your horse up to the trailer, your horse isn't out there thinking, I sure hope she comes back at lunchtime because I'm going to be hungry. That thought is not capable of going through the horse. It could be hungry, but it can't say, I hope she's going to come back and I hope she's not going to leave me tied up here all day because I have you know, other horses to talk to later or I need to be here or there. Right? Just, I'm here now and that's all they can really are is just this now moment. And that's why they're so good in therapy work or I, therapy is kind of a big scary word, just experiential learning, right? We can all have experiential learning. And so that's, that's how they can work so good with this is that they don't have that prefrontal cortex and so they kind of just bypass that when they're working with us and they just want to connect with you at your core, at your truth, at your soul. Does that make sense? They're not looking to see what your belt buckle says, how good anything is or, or how many trophies you have in your house or what brand of boots you got on, they're just looking at what your core is. What are you? What is your intent? Because they think their life depends on it. They don't have that prefrontal cortex, so everything in their mind resonates on a life or death type decision. They just live right now. And so this is kind of why. So we're just kind of get into the, the chunks of the brain and, and how and what's there. Mm -hmm.